Okay guys, you've all been very patient, but in this tutorial we're going to get the preview working for the camera video app, such as this. This is the working demo here. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name is Nigel. Okay, so we're actually going to get something working on our device. We're going to be showing our preview. And the preview is just a what we call a capture request to create a session. And whether or not you're showing a preview, you're taking a photograph, or you're capturing a video, the way you set this up is a similar sort of mythology. Anyway, should we make a start? Okay, the first thing I need to do is to set up a new member called the Capture Request Builder. That's where we put all the information into our request before we request a session. Okay, so let's find a good place to set that up. Okay, I'll put that under preview size. This is going to be a capture request builder. And I'll just call it Member Capture Request Builder. I'll probably keep this name generic. As such. Okay, now I can create my start preview method. And I'll try and find a good place to put that in. So, what have we got there? Connect camera. I think I've put the method below connect camera just to give the code a little bit of structure to it. So I'm going to call this Start Preview. Okay, the first thing we need to provide is the surface. So the surface is going to be our texture view. So basically we want, from the camera sensor, we want to put data, a video, basically, onto our preview display. So first of all, we need to get our texture view and then convert that into a surface view that the camera API understands. So what I'm going to do, for, first of all, is create what we call a surface texture. And from that, I can get the, um, from my texture view, I can get the surface texture. We can just call get surface texture. That's done. Once we've got the surface texture, texture, let's set the default buffer sizes for that. And the default buffer sizes are what we've done in a previous tutorial when we worked out the re requested height and width. So set the default buffer size and the preview size that was calculated. Get width and do the same for height. Okay, now we can actually create a surface that we can feed into our camera sensor. So let's call it, this will be a surface. And I'll call it preview surface. That's a new object here, surface, and we can pass in our surface texture. Okay, that, now that we've got our preview surface that we can feed into camera sensor, the next thing to do is to set up our capture request builder. Here it is there. And if we call the um, camera device member that was initialized before, we can create a capture request and it will give you a number of types of requests you want. As you can see here, We've got preview, record, manual. There's a number of requests we can make here. I'm just going to use the top one, which will be preview. And I believe we need to put a try catch harness around there. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got a configured capture request builder. We can now pass on our surface, the preview surface, into that by calling. M capture request and we can add a target surface target and that's going to be our preview surface that's 
as such. Now, now we can actually get ready to set up our session. So we call the M camera device. I'm going to create a capture session. Now, first thing we want to do, first argument we want is our surface. There's a number of ways you, you can do this. I'm just going to pass it in as an array list. And this will be preview surface. Now the next step we want to do is to create the camera capture session callback. And just let me complete, I'm going to just add the third argument here which is just going to be a null. Okay. So we've got two arguments, on configured means everything was successful, failed, something went wrong. So let's just go into failed first and set up a toast for that just to say Something went wrong with our configuration, unfortunately. I'll put in the message here. Enable to set up camera preview. Something to that effect, want it to be nice and easy. Set up the time for that. And show that toast. But hopefully that will never happen because we'll get into the on configured state here. So once we've got the on configured, we've got a configured session. Once that session's set up, we can actually start setting up our request. So let's call session and call a set repeating request. In other words, it's going to be a video, so we want it to keep repeating regularly just to update that display. Um, hopefully at something like 30 hertz. Okay, so first thing it's gonna we're gonna want it to feed into it's gonna be the capture request builder and call build. And the next step is is this gonna be null because we're not gonna to want to do anything with that data. We just want it, the preview just to keep happening and we don't really care just as long as preview updates. We're not gonna to want to read that data or process the data so we can set that null. And let's have this happening on the background handler. Okay, so I need to set up another try catch inside this callback as well. That's a camera capture session, ca camera capture exception. And we'll need to move these two lines into the harness itself. Okay, so that should be okay for our start preview. Now we need to call start preview. Let me work out where to call that. That's going to be called from inside our device state callback here. So the device state callback, if we remember from the previous tutorial, we just set up a toast to say we successfully set up a device. So we can comment out these two lines here. We don't need the toast now. That was just for development. And now we can just call oh, we can just call start preview as such and those should be all the changes that we need to make so let's try running this application and see what happens and already it started up and let me record this so you can actually see what's happening. And as you can see, we've got the camera preview successfully working. It's default automatic focus working there. Okay, so this sort of method on whether you're capturing a video, a preview, taking a photo, it's all the same. So let's actually debug, step through the code changes that we made. So if we go into start preview, I'll just put a breakpoint in there. Now we're going to debug this. So 
the camera started up. First thing we're going to do is just to get the surface texture it's texture from our texture view. That's required to make the surface. Now we set the default sizes for that texture view and now we create the surface using the surface texture. Now the next step here is to initialize our camera capture request builder there and we're going to initialize it with a template preview. In other words, we want a preview um, capture request happening. Now we add our preview surface, our surface to the builder capture request. And now we're going to create a capture session and continue on. Just let me put a breakpoint in on configured and I'll put another breakpoint in failed just in case something goes wrong. And let's continue on. Okay, we've gone inside the on configured here. That's good news. Okay, now we can set up our actual request because we've got a configured session. So we set up a repeating request. In other words, it's going to be a video preview display updating. And so we have actually provided a fully uh, Okay, that's it for the setting up the preview display on the um, Android Camera 2 video application. Um, if you've watched some of my previous tutorials, you can see that this methodology is very similar. It's almost the same, actually. The way you set up a capture request builder, then you set up a request to create your session, and once you've got a working session, you can actually set up a repeating request or, or whatever type of a request you want. So once you're familiar with this, it starts to become a lot more straightforward in the camera to set up of APIs. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. If you want to get updated to the following tutorial to this or any of my other tutorials that I'm working on, click on the subscribe button down below. That's if you've got a PC. And if you want to keep up to date with all the ch latest changes that I make, um, when I release articles, latest videos I'm doing, or any other news related to um, mobile application tutorials, you can see my clickable um, social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and Google Plus, so you're more than welcome to come to visit those. And directly above me is my website, and that's probably the authoritative, the best place to actually watch the tutorial. And you've got supporting documentation down below with brief descriptions of what the code does. And it's also got information of where the code is in GitHub as well. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. So as you can see here, you can see me recording, myself recording, sort of the preview of me recording.